I was asked, having been a student here in sculpture, if I would consider uh, creating a piece of sculpture for the campus that um, would involve uh, creativity. And um, Joe Marbido was the head of the um, architectural department and they had moved into Taylor Hall and he said, I'd love to have this in front of Taylor Hall. We gathered here in front of Taylor Hall and began putting together these pieces and I would hold them and they would weld. These guys were fabulous welders and a company in Akron uh, loaned us the welding equipment and what have you and we worked two or three days putting it together uh, to arrive at this, this particular piece. Now we jump uh, to May 4th and what are the sad things that happened here. Um, Akron Beacon Journal, which is our newspaper where I live in Akron, was a major paper in the area. Uh, I was contacted by them to come on campus. May 4th was Monday, Thursday. I was asked and brought down by the Beacon Journal to look at the bullet hole. The guards, uh, when they fired at the students, pierced the sculpture. But there, at the time, they were saying the sculptural hole, or the hole in the sculpture, was um, evidence that they were fired on first, and that's why they fired back. We arrived about 11 o'clock. Uh, the students were off the campus. There were men walking around, which I assume were FBI or investigative people, in typical black suits. I spoke to none of them. I was taken immediately to the sculpture in front of Taylor and shown the hole. And what was strange to me as a metal worker, because my specialty is working in metals, is the side toward the guard was flanged out, or pieces of metal were flanged out, on the side toward the student, um, it was concave. Now, when you drill a hole in metal, particularly this type of steel, you would create that. And that's why people thought maybe that the guard were fired on first. I brought with me uh, a piece of steel as the th same thickness and told the newspaper uh, that we wanted to get somebody with the same ammunition and rifling to fire uh, on this piece. And that afternoon we went out to uh, somebody's farm and I marked the sculpture with a big X before we fired on it to show the entrance side. And we duplicated exactly what happened to, uh, to the sculpture and showed that it came from the guard. The Akron Beacon Journal won a Pulitzer Prize on its coverage of, of this total event and um, uh, I'll never forget being here. I was crying at the time and, uh, and uh, it, was, it was a situation, this is my school, my sculpture, and I asked that the bullet hole never be welded shut and today, many years later, uh, I visited the sculpture and saw little signs uh, written on it that uh, warmed my heart.